Today, I'm going to share with you nine ideas for JavaScript projects for beginners for your coding portfolio. Before we start, remember about subscribing to our channel and remember to turn on the notifications and to give us thumbs up. Hello guys and welcome in the next episode. One week ago I posted a video where I told you about 11 ideas for HTML and CSS projects with which you can start building your portfolio and you can practice a little bit. And then I promised you the second video about JavaScript projects. And here it is. Today I'm going to share with you 9 ideas for beginners projects which you can build using pure JavaScript. Of course, these HTML and CSS skills will be really useful. And you can start building your coding portfolio, which you can show to your future employer, maybe. Remember also about creating a GitHub account and setting the repository for each of the projects. If you don't know how to do it, I will link our previous video about GitHub. Or I will place a card here, so you can check it out. Okay. Let's start with the projects. So, the first project I would like to tell you about is to build a simple clock. It's like really simple task because you need to display hour, minutes and maybe seconds if you prefer. If you would like to make it a little bit bigger, you can also show the date. In this kind of uh, project, you will focus on training things like set interval or set timeout, and you will create a very, very simple design. If you don't have any idea for the design for clock, which I think it's quite simple, I prepared one for you, which now you can see on the screen. So you can make it similar. The next idea I would like to tell you about is to build a simple image slider. Well, you might say that there are a lot of image sliders which you can use ready waiting for you for free in the internet. Of course there is. But wouldn't it be cool to know how it works from scratch? And there is no better method to find out how sliders work than writing one. So. You can create the simple slider, then you can add some more advanced features to it. And remember that you can reuse this kind of JavaScript script in your different projects. So keep it in your repository and remember about it when you are going to build a layout. Project number three, which you should build when you are a beginner in JavaScript. It's form with validation. And in this project, it would be really cool if you could focus on a little bit more advanced validation than just string or number. Uh, in my opinion, it would be a great idea to focus on regex testing for strings like maybe, I don't know, email or maybe for number with a certain uh, format like phone number for example. Also you can display a tooltip if something is wrong and show the information what is wrong in the input. If you would like to get more creative then you can build some more eye-catching graphics for this kind of project. Idea number four is also a simple element which you can reuse on different products. It's a progress bar. So you can create a simple progress bar which has an animation which flows from 0 to 100. And if you would like to make some more on this project, then you can give us some amazing effect when your progress bar reaches 100. Also, besides reusing it as a JavaScript script, you can 
later build a framework component from it and reuse it in your more advanced front-end projects. The idea number five is a simple text calculator. So, you can build a simple script which has one input for a gross amount, where you can put, for example, I don't know, maybe salary, and a button which allows you to trigger the function which will calculate the net amount. Uh, for this purpose, for testing and for learning, you can use a simple tax rate from your country. And if you are not sure about the design, again, I prepared something for you, so feel free to take a look and build something similar. Project number six, it's a little bit about entertainment, because this project is about creating application which I called joke of the day. So, you need to have a base of about 50 jokes and then you need to create a function which will select randomly the joke and display it as a joke of the day to the user. It's a great idea to add a button which will allow user to change the joke or get another one. And you can also create different variants of this kind of application. So you can make news of the day, photo of the day, maybe gif of the day and whatever your creativity tells you will be fine. My idea for project number seven is building a simple quiz. So, you could create a simple quiz which takes uh, questions from the base of bigger amount of questions and answers then you will let user to select the answer and you will show the number of points that user get. So if the answer is correct, then user gets one point. If the answer is wrong, then user maybe gets minus one point or zero points. At the end, you have to remember about cleaning the state of the quiz so another user can start it. Project number eight. It's a voting system. You can create a voting system using JavaScript and you can do it in two different ways. So you can present one object for voting and add their two buttons like yes and no or up and down. So users select if they like the object. And the other way you can create it is to place, for example, three images. And then when user clicks on the image, the vote is done. Of course, after the voting, you can show the results of the voting or any message to the user, depends on you. And the last idea for the project, it's a little bit more advanced. Uh, it's a game, it's a hangman game. I bet you know this from your childhood probably when we were playing on like normal paper, but you can create the online version uh, where you have to focus on preparing an input where users can guess the, the word or the letter and you need to assign some number of guesses to each user. So for example, user can guess 10 times and the last guess he needs to put the correct word. If he doesn't, then he loses. It's not like a very beginning project, but I think that after you are creating the previous eight, you are ready to do it. And that's it about the projects. Also, if you didn't start with HTML and CSS project, you can feel free to jump to my previous video and see what I offer you there. And if you don't feel very comfortable with JavaScript yet, then you can visit us at edwomly.com and see our courses or our YouTube channel where we also provide you some courses with JavaScript or our blog where you can find lots of articles with tutorials with JavaScript. I hope you like the video and you'll try any of those projects. Let me know what are your ideas for practicing JavaScript and building your front-end coding portfolio.
and don't forget to subscribe our channel and turn on the notifications. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up, we really like it. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!